Hey, the game is so close now, can we? We could almost smell it. 66, 4-2 to England. 1970, 3-2 to the Germans. 1990, the Germans on penalties. 2001 in Munich, 5-1 to England. Cammy, could it be another epic? Oh, without a doubt, it'll be a classic game. You know, we're nervous about it. That's one thing for certain. We didn't really want to meet them. We hope that Ghana or Serbia had got through, but we've got them now. And we just know that we're improving. They're making all sorts of noises. So we've got a fantastic chance. You know, that the lads now can sense, and the people at home, for the first time, know we've got a chance of winning this World Cup. Now, Jamie Carragher's available again, but we expect Fabio to probably play the same formation and the same 11. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. You know, th th that team improved. Yeah. For the first time in the tournament, we played the best bit of football that we did. It wasn't the finished article, no doubt about it, but leave them together. You know, I watched the Dutch last night. You know, they'd already qualified, yet the same team, their starting 11, Ian Robin was left on the bench. The, the, the lads that got them through the first two wins all played together last night. They might not have been in, in first gear, but they were to get that togetherness and that teamwork. Fabio Capello is a creature of habit. We will play the same team. Jermaine Defoe and Wayne Rooney up front. What we liked the other day was that Wayne often dropped off and allowed Stephen to go into that position, and it confused the Slovenians a little bit. Yeah, we had movement for the first time in the tournament. We had movement. Instead of rigid Aaron Lennon on the right, you know, uh, Sean Wright Phillips or Milner, who started the USA game on the left hand side, or Stephen Gerrard stuck on the left, we had movement. So players move positions, and that's where um, Wayne Rooney's at his best. When he's not stuck up as an out and out striker, he, he, he can play anyway. He can, he can pass the ball in midfield and he can pass it up front. The only difference is now he's got somebody over his shoulder, i.e., as in um, a Jermaine Defoe, and we know that if the ball comes in the box, he's there. So The Germans will target Glenn Johnson. John Terry's not a problem. Ashley Cole's world class. Matthew Upson alongside John Terry. Concerned at all about Glenn Johnson? Uh, yeah, of course. You know, defensively, he's not great. But offensively, he's fantastic. You know, so the thing is, and hopefully we'll be on the front foot for most of the game, pushing forward, and uh, we'll see the best out of Glenn Johnson. We're looking for a big world-class performance, obviously, from Frank Lampard as well. Yeah, he's not played yet, has he, Frank? He'll be disappointed. He'll be happy he was part of the team in the last game against Slovenia, um, because he's sort of like, you know, you get a little bit more confidence then when you've not played in the first two games. But he might get better. You know, Frank, it's, it's due a performance. It could be Frank's game against the Germans. We've got Joe available to come off the bench, and we know how exciting Joe Cole can be. He can change a game. James Milner's ball for that Jermaine Defoe goal was excellent. That will give him confidence. Yeah, of course, yeah. Milner, Milner did okay. There's no doubt about that. Brought a bit of freshness to the team, a bit of movement. Did okay. Did better than what we've had, you know, from Aaron Lennon because of the fact that it's not just a case of getting your head down and cross the ball. The one thing about Milner, he looks to pick people out. So, so we've got a better um, understanding there already. And finally, the talisman, the governor, the man himself, Wayne Rooney. This is the game against the Germans to shine and put his immortality on this game and on the England national side. Yeah, I think the biggest thing about all the supporters around the world, they'll be disappointed with the performance of Wayne Rooney. They'll have come, you know, they've seen Torres, okay, they've seen David Villa, top draw, they've seen Lionel Messi, okay, but, you know, not fantastic, you know, but he's still Lionel Messi and he's done fantastic things. They've looked at Wayne Rooney, no, not so sure. You know, Eto, okay. Did he a drug, but okay. There's no real outstanding football that made a big impact, but probably the worst of that little group is Wayne Rooney. So he's got something to prove to all his fans. There's no doubt we're right up for it. Keep it here.